What the fuck was Jim Caldwell thinking on that offside kick? Like, what was you thinking? Why would you do that? Why? I, I just don't get it. The play calling in this game was fucking awful from Jim Bob Cooter. The wide receivers was just dropping passes. Like, come on, man. Jim Caldwell, you needs to go, bro. You needs to go, man. That's the case. You should have went for it on fourth and five. Instead of doing some stupid shit like that, why would you kick an offside kick? You got three timeouts. Kick that motherfucker downfield and bank on your defense. But no, you get them short field. You know we can't stop this fucking running back they just put in the game. Pistons, come on, man. I'm glad the Pistons come on today. Hopefully they don't let me down. Because this was some bullshit right here. This is the type of bullshit that I, I don't like from Caldwell. He needs to go. He needs to go. He needs to go. He needs to fucking go. He finna get bashed. He finna get bashed all over social media. The, the radio tomorrow, every fucking thing. He needs to go. He lost us the game. He lost us the game. He lost us the game. Like, come on, man. Jim Bob Cooter with this fucking bullshit ass play calling. Come on, man. Another fucking game that we have fucking lost just because wide receivers weren't catching the ball. Too many fucking penalties in the beginning. We couldn't get shit going. We tried to get shit going when it's too fucking late. Well, we could have been doing this shit at the beginning of the game. This team wasn't that good today. They defense looked good today. They defense looked good. They weren't that damn good. You want to know why? Because our wide receivers was dropping the fucking ball all fucking game. That's the case Eric Ebron and motherfucking Theo Riddick should have stayed where they was at if that's what's causing the fucking fuck up between the um, wide receivers. Like, that's some bullshit, man. Now, I'm after you start finna get criticized because Jim Bob Cooter want to call some bullshit-ass calls. Jim, he being too conservative, him and fucking Caldwell. You just lost the game, man. Now we got to go through a bye week, sitting, 4-4. Four and four. Now we we got a small room for um for, 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 to lose. Now we got to at least win the, the last the last eight games. We got to at least win six of them bitches. We are out of the last eight games. We had at least win six of them. So when we come out of this bye, hopefully we get some bodies back. The defense was fucking awful in the, in the first half. The secondary mainly. The secondary was fucking awful. The front line started to get pushed. But by this time, man, it was just nothing you can do, man. Now you was playing. Now you playing with the time and the clock and shit. And you know, no, not enough time left. Not enough time left, man. That was the dumbest call and I, I, that I seen in a minute, man. That was the dumbest call. We not gonna win no Super Bowl with a coach uh, as, as Jim Caldwell as our coach, man. We're not gonna win a fucking Super Bowl if Jim Caldwell is our fucking coach because he's too fucking conservative. He don't fucking know what he's doing when things get tight with his shitty boo boo ass. Like, for real, though. When things get rough, this guy don't have a fucking brain, man. It's like he been smoking like he's brain dead or something. Like somebody cracked him upside the head with a fucking bat. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, Jim Caldwell. Why would you do that? I would. I know not to make a call like that. It's fucking 3.30 on the clock with three timeouts, man. Come on. I'm fucking gone, man. Bitch-ass nigga, man.